What we're investigating is how often can sexuality re-emerge in a species after a lineage has taken advantage of being was kind of all female and, and, and doing away with sex, doing away with males altogether. So this is a stick insect called Argosarcus horridus. It's the bristly New Zealand stick insect. This species usually is in sexual populations, so there are males and females. Another species that we're doing some work on is uh, in a genus called Acanthozyla. An interesting thing about Acanthozyla is that uh, they're all female. We've been working with biologists uh, in the UK um, and they, they contacted us and said, look, we've we found a male of, and we think it's a, an Acanthozyla male. And we, of course, said, well, there's no such thing. You can't have a male of Acanthozyla. So um, we offered to do some genetic work with that specimen and confirmed that, yeah, they've got this magical sort of mutation that's resulted in a, in, a, in, a, in a male. And we think that what's happened is a genetic mutation, a chromosomal mutation, has resulted in a female embryo coming out looking like a male.